Jesus. This is just me rendering. I'm testing something out again because I happened upon this video, which I'll show you right here. The view from space, well, I just got it here restarted. But, um, I don't know how all my stuff gets changed, but here's the footage right here, and I'm going to tell you right now, because I've just tested some of this stuff again. This here is most definitely a comp over, this green effect, because I've done it, and I can show you at least one picture that I, I rendered while I was trying to do it, and I can, I'm going to do it again probably, just to demonstrate and show you this isn't real. There's no way this footage is actual reality. It's it's VFX comp and it's uh, fisheye lens. And also the I think the scale and perspective might be. I don't know what's taking this so long. Sorry for the slowness here. See, this stuff takes time, man. <laughs> takes lots of time to do this stuff out. Look at that, a minute and a half a frame, which is pretty quick. Yeah, you know, the green atmosphere. Uh, yeah, space has no properties, therefore it cannot and does not exist. Yeah, I got to do that with all the footage in this thing. See, there's your green footage, except I've I've adjusted the the Fresnel, and I forget what else. Uh, try and match, make it more match this. Which I already did, actually. I haven't got to it yet, but I've already tested it, tried it. And then I was trying to simulate this one. See how it changes? It goes from a green haze covering the globe also to none at all. None whatsoever. That's masked in, I think. That is actually masked in. Uh... It doesn't even match the contour. And look at that. Look, look at that hump. Look at that. How high is this, actually? How high is this? Uh, let's go. Go look at my uh, thing here. Let's see. We got this camera. I got a distance measure for it. Camera height. We're at 237. Now see if I take away like the atmosphere, the clouds, I'll render it out. I tried to match the, the angle and direction as best I could on a frame. Now it's gonna be a bit. The camera height is 320 miles from basically the surface. And this is the distance to the pyramid. 448 miles to that big ass pyramid so uh, I just wanted to go over a couple of things about this this video just real quick there's one another thing that doesn't make any sense okay and then when we come up to Ireland and the United Kingdom I guess we're coming from the north here and France Belgium look at all them lights in the daytime this is daytime and why are they all yellow? I don't see no white, blue, red, orange, green, anything. They're all the same color. Proof it's material. They're all the same freaking color, man. You really expect to see that good a detail from so-called this high? And to get that high to see that globe, I've been testing it too. You know, it doesn't add up. It just does not add up. Look at all them lights, man. There should be a huge haze of light over the entire country of Italy. You should be able to see the lights from every, everywhere around the ocean, the sea, the water. Look at all them lights. There should be a huge glow around the whole country. Not just the city. I mean, my God, this is not real. This cannot be real. This cannot be real. And the water, it's all the same color. The water. And then the, the land colors change, the, you know. Wait till we get to Israel. See, there's there's the desert, Sahara, Egypt. Then we get to uh, Jordan. Where's the green? Because I know dying well, Israel has farms. There's lots of farms here. People got to eat there too. There's lots of green there. Where's all the green? 
And then when you get back to France, it's all the same color too. I'm telling you, this is not actual truth or, or reality. There's just no way it can be. Nothing seems right about it. See, look at that Red Sea. That's where I'm at. That's the frame I took right here. Look at that. That's the frame I took. Let's see if I can get this uh, terrible. That's not too far off, is it? And I'm at 320 miles high. So is the ISS 320 miles high? This camera is exactly 320 miles, 0.298 from my marker, which is directly below the camera, as close as I get to the surface. It's hard to work out these huge scales. Uh, look at that. So you can see the little blue right beneath there. The proof this is fake. That's that's an overlay comp. You see the blue below it? That's that's an overlay comp. It has to be. Especially when you get back here and you see it's different. It's it's layered over different. Because you got the green covering the whole thing. Or at least well, where is it? Yeah, see it's bleeding off into it. See? This is from the same altitude? How come you can't see the horizon below the green? Because over here, you got the horizon green above the blue. See, this is fake, man. This is all manipulation and, and so forth. So, uh, I hope those of you that have eyes can see and ears to hear and have the spirit of discernment because it is so obvious this is fake. And coming from me, a 3D self-taught enthusiast <laughs> and graphics and so forth <laughs> there's no question this is fake there's no question it's fake in my mind in fact <laughs> them clouds look dang familiar to me a lot of them they look familiar <laughs> look like the same thing I do in here see so uh, God be with you and have mercy peace and grace with you all I'm telling you, this world is ruled by the serpent, and he's just trying to deceive the whole world with all kinds of things. But I do think the flat earth is, is more truth than fiction, and this globe stuff is fake. It's false, it's a forgery, it's a facsimile, and uh, i got to tell you, NASA lies. Peace out. On 9-11, we had satellite images of New York City and the smoke coming from the Rural Trade Center. You can see the whole city, the buildings and everything. They show us satellite images of weather maps. They show us satellite images of fires. You can see the brush, the flames. And, well, and then when it comes to, say, stuff like this, you can see the lights in the daytime, but you can't see any buildings or cities or anything. So if we have satellite images of the weather, wildfires, bombings, explosions, burning towers, how come we can't see any of them in this? How come we can't see any of those in this video or footage? This is from the ISS. It's closer than spy satellites or satellites, geosync satellites, because geosync satellites, you know, they're what 22 26,000 miles above the surface of the earth the globe earth anyway that's way beyond 200 240 miles or 200 miles so if their satellite images in the ISS is closer than all them satellites why is the ISS footage so dang sucky I mean where's the buildings where where's the smokes where's the fires huh we can see the lights but that's about it in the daytime we can't see no buildings even in the daytime but we can see the freaking city lights of everything and if you really look at this footage 
There are places there are lights out in the middle of the water. That is 100% proof this crap is faked. Good night, NASA. I hope you can sleep well.